everyone, this is Waldorf. And this is Statler. And now we're looking at Battle Report 189. 189. Orcs and Goblins versus the Beast Herds. Once again, huzzah hobbies. Yeah, that's a staple, isn't it? It is. And, All right. And yet another graphic I can't stand. <laughs> what, the cow head? Yeah. <laughs> the weird cow head that gives you the... The three snooted cow. It may be four. Yes. I think I pointed this out before. <laughs> <laughs> you may be counting wrong. <laughs> uh, um, so here's my list. Same one I've been using lately. Just trying out the cave trolls as uh, an option. Mm -hmm. And then we have the Beastman. Okay. And this is a really good opponent because he gave me his list. There you go. He has a Beast Lord. He's the General with Ghostly Guard, Crown of Horns, a Beast Axe, and Heavy Armor. Uh, he's got a Beast Chieftain. A chieftain or Chieftain? There's an eye in there. Oh, it's just, okay. It's just this font. <laughs> Look, at the eyes don't. Sure, we'll go. Well with we'll go. Font. We'll go with that. Yeah, believe me. You, you could. You could. It's there. Just you just can't see it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's a greater totem bearer with destiny's call, uh, lucky charm, heavy armor, and a beast axe. And then he's got a soothsayer adept of shamanism. Two units of wild horn. Two units of twenty wild horns with musicians ambush. And throwing weapons. 22 long horns, full command halberds, gnarled hide totem, and eight feral hounds. A unit of three raiding chariots. Hmm, okay. Two units of five gargoyles. Gargoyle. Hmm. Uh, seven minotaurs. They have full command, the rending banner, and the black wing totem. And two of these really terrible monsters. It's called the Gortax. There you go. Yeah, no good at all. Um, moving forward. Uh, off the left. Playing on the snowboards. Snowboards. Mm -hmm. uh, Except yeah, for the hills. We were banished to the snowboards. Okay. Um, there, was a, there was a big event that day, and we got pushed to the snowboards. <laughs> um, not snowboarding, <laughs> but snowboards. Uh, there we go. There's my little display I like with the house, the field, and the wall. Mm -hmm. Three terrain pieces in one. Uh, <laughs> forest, water, hill back here. Okay. And on the far right, you can see another forest, another hill, and a... Building. Impassable building. Okay. Um, for some reason... Uh, let's back up. You can see it a little bit in the other post. For some reason, I deployed to deploy my two beast herds back to back, facing outwards in the back line. Not quite sure what I'm that's sorry, about. Your two what? Sorry, my two Nasher herds. Okay. <laughs> I said beast herds, didn't yeah. I? Um, to look for beast herds. Okay. <laughs> they're on the lookout, and they're fast. My thought was I can stop them, and then they can swing up around or whatever, because mm -hmm. they are pretty fast. Um, so we'll see. That's my thought. We'll see how it works. And we're playing the secondary of pick up the three tokens. These three, you know, pick up the loot. Yep. Um, I went first. So Vanguard, the spiders vanguarded up and moved to here on the first turn. Spider Riders, you can see the other unit up atop has done the same thing. I'm going up to harass the Gortax, hopefully they, hopefully trying to stop them from marching and to throw some stuff at them. Mm-hmm. Uh, meanwhile, the rest of my army comes forward just a bit, except for my guys in the back. Two guys, <laughs> you know, the spider <laughs> riders on the right gets, gets lucky and really irritates that Gortac. Mm -hmm. Uh, over on the left, you scared him so much. He, he left his hot dog behind over, over on the left. They actually did a wound as well. Okay. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Three wounds on Gortax on the first turn. So goes to his turn, his turn, the, uh, Gortak passes his leadership check and just walks away from me. Okay, and something appeared. And then this little wall of <laughs> short horns or whatever they're called comes in here behind me, wild horns. Well, it's funny. They made them the minimum size unit larger so people wouldn't be able to do this, and now it's even worse. <laughs> yes, it's ridiculous. Um, else then everything else just kind of moves forward a bit. Mm -hmm. I put the... Um, Break the spirit on the unit of Minotaurs. Look at that. I remembered it this time. Okay. Uh, on the Minotaurs to stop them from marching. Mm -hmm. Just want to keep them as, at bay as long as possible. Yep. Um, on the left hand side, or right hand side, <laughs> Gortek again walks away from me. Mm -hmm. And 
these guys are really irritated that I shot up his quartet. It would seem so, yes. (laughs) He's dedicated. (laughs) I mean, he probably doesn't want to come in behind me anyway because those Nashers are waiting for him. Yeah. But it's pretty funny. Yeah, he's irritated them. Yeah, well, they uh, paid for themselves in this game. Um, So, they come in here and this is the shooting. He's shooting. He managed to do... I think he did three wounds, and I rolled and made my all three saves. Oh, wow. So he did actually no damage on this <laughs> side of the board. I see some harpies that got problems. Over here on the right side, he does two wounds, mm-hmm. and I managed my pass my leadership check. Okay. So I'm very happy with this result yes, so I, far. I think I would be, too. Because I think I've just dis- I've disrupted his ambushers as well yes. as putting three wounds on Gore-Tax. Yep. And both these units are able to charge. Yep. So, we'll move on to turn two, with that said. Uh, The Boar Boys decide, hey, look, that guy's got two wounds on him. (laughs) Let's see if we can cause some more. I'm strength five on the charge. (laughs) And I've got a total of 11 strength five attacks coming in on this guy. Yeah. Hitting on fours, wounding on fives. So, I'm hoping to put two wounds on him. Mm -hmm. And, you know, stagger him. Right. And make him really think about doing Mm -hmm. anything. Make him go back to his hot dog. So we're gonna try. We're gonna try it. Yeah, you okay. see the hot dog's gone. Yeah. Um, okay. And spiders go into the size of the harpies. Three spiders go into the side of the gargoyles. Gargoyle, sorry, wrong. And wrong these army. five go into the side of this. These there gargoyles. Gargoyle. Um, elsewhere, the middle of the unit comes. Middle of my army comes forward. And your Nashers turn around. And, and move Nashers up. turn and start heading towards the front. Mm-hmm. They try to catch up. And the spider and everybody moves up over here. Right. Um, just keeping the Gortak. Gortak can see me, mm-hmm. the spider at least, he, but he is in my front. Okay. Um, so if he wants to come play, I'm okay with that. Um, so you say now. <laughs> they... I do. Uh, all right. So I cast the spell, the uh, break the spirit on the chariots. Chariots. So they can't charge out to the right and protect my right flank a little bit. Mm hmm. Uh, moving on. Looks like we jump in the melee. Uh, these go. Oh, yes. So the spider riders over here on the left did that fight first. Yeah, five. Mm-hmm. They did, uh, I think they did one wound, maybe two. Um, took a wound back, but won the combat. And the gargoyles redeployed to the other side <laughs> of the board. Ran through a few guys. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think one of them took a dirt. Actually, uh, sorry. Now that I think about it, I remember he did. I did two wounds because okay. they're dead over here, and he fled across and took another wound because right one of them those passed spider through the spider. Okay, um, so he ended up over there on the left, mm-hmm. on the far right. Excuse me. Um, moving on. Uh, da, 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 da. So what do we got? Um, <laughs> they overran. Okay, not very far. Did not it? and overran a tiny bit because mm-hmm. I would have. Yeah. Like to be in the flank of those dogs? Would love to be in the flank of the dogs. Yeah. On the other side, the spider riders, one, took a wound as well, um, overran and rolled a 12 and managed to get into the flank of the the gore unit. In okay. case. Not so good. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Would have loved to have had that flip yeah. the other direction. <laughs> yes. But you got rid of the harpies. But the harpy, both units of harpies are gone, so. Yeah. Well, one's running, but. Uh... Well, that's true. One's yeah. running. Um, and it, I guess it has the benefit of this unit won't be moving this turn. There is that. And can't cast its magic missile spell, the mm-hmm. swarm of insects. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> uh, um, so, uh, meanwhile, Mr. Gortak, I did my two wounds. Mr. Gortak swings back, not only kills my unit, managed to roll a lethal strike and get a wound back. There you go. <laughs> not what I was hoping yeah, for. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I netted a wound on him for the cost of a boar unit. Mm-hmm. I don't think that was a good trade. Anyway. <clears throat> so there's the overall picture going into the bottom of turn. the turn. Okay. Turn two, I believe. What's on the uh, boar boys in the center? Boar boys on scarification. Okay. Um, yeah, just my successful casting. Sure. Okay. Um, so back to his turn. Mr. Gortak walks around behind the building. Okay, so circles safe. around behind my units over here on the left. Mm-hmm. Um, gets up a spell. I 
think it's the black wing thing that makes them charge further next turn on the minotaurs mm -hmm. um the uh short horn wild horn guys come forward mm -hmm. and they're just going to use throwing weapons and try to get rid of these guys yeah i don't think he's going to do it <laughs> that um, irritated them he didn't hurt me at all last time <laughs> um over here on the right the uh, guys these guys come forward they rally um who the harpies and the harpies rally okay uh harpies were within yeah okay i believe were within 12 as general okay um these guys came forward. He forgot to take his dangerous terrain checks. He did later, so there'll be a couple of models missing in a minute. Mm -hmm. When you notice that, that's what happened to him. Um, chariots come forward a little bit, just to threaten. And there's the wild horn. So the 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 wild wild horns fire this time, and they don't fail, okay. and they shoot me off. Mm -hmm. And over here, surprisingly, the gore unit. He got off this. He got off the, uh, the um, whatchamacallit, the uh, totem to give him an additional attack. Okay. So I was only on one guy. Mm -hmm. It was a corner-to-corner -corner thing because I couldn't get past the yeah. the chariots that were back there. So I could only get one-on-one. -on -one. So I was like, hey, look, at least I'll survive and maybe I'll flee. Right. And he'll fail his <laughs> right, right. check and have to chase me. But no, he got off the totem, got two attacks, both hit, both wounded. <laughs> done could have got interesting not really but <laughs> i had a charge and a flank there is that it's up to he's only static combat of what three ranks yeah. two banners mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. much chance i'm going to stay through that anyway um so we got that and we move on to my turn, turn three. three um overall shot overall shot da, 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 da. anything special going on here yeah, not really um so overall shot the <laughs> the Nasher herd decides to make a charge needing a 12 okay. into Mr. Uh, Gortac. You, like, you like those 12s. It's a, <laughs> yeah, well, he's going to try it. It's, mm -hmm. I mean, again, the way I'm looking at it, there's not a downside to failing it. Yeah. yeah. Except for my unit doesn't get forward. Yep. Um, That's a downside. The, <laughs> <laughs> the uh, Boar Boys declared a charge at the... Uh, chariots who had come forward too far and he ran away he turns and flees so i redirect needing a 10 into these guys with the guy with the extra attacks yeah mm -hmm. um i don't want to make this yeah but <laughs> um yeah anyway i probably should have just gone forward <laughs> we're going for the dogs <laughs> uh they're the thing it might have been well they're probably <laughs> further i don't know anyway whatever uh, regardless, uh, they failed over there on the right and okay. do not make it, which mm -hmm. was a very big relief to me. Um, <laughs> the spider came around and actually managed to finagle this to where he's in my front arc. Okay. Um, I don't know why I bothered with this cause I can't charge anything off to the right anyway. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I tried to get so fancy with this. I guess if he hits me and overruns, he's going He'll this way instead way. of going yeah. somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Um, and your boar boys made it up to the fence. Boar boys walked up to the fence, um, just so they can't get uh, nothing shooting. The wild horns, I guess, can shoot mm -hmm. at them. Yeah. Um, so they came up to the fence. And you brought up some nashers. And nashers come up into the middle of the line, and that's really about it. Okay. Um, what do we got going on? The uh, nashers on the right failed their twelve charge. Mm -hmm. They're not going to go in. Um, just in case I missed on the, um, he stopped the break the spirit spell. So just to discourage him, I cast the, uh, the orc hereditary spell mm -hmm. on the, uh, longhorn unit. Okay. That way, if he wants to come forward, I'm rerolling to hits and, you know, right. Makes it a lot more, makes him think twice about mm -hmm. bringing that into combat. Um, so he's pointing at that guy because he doesn't trust him. <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah. Um, this turn. I think he's just showing off his fancy watch. And his ring. Yeah, his I think ring. so. Look at this, boys. Look at me. I'm Mr. Fancy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so the Gortak comes down off the hill, charge into the savages, the fer ferals. Mm -hmm. um, he's feeling he's feeling great because he does really good against orcs, apparently. <laughs> um, I guess we're going to find out. The one thing he does have going for him here is no one can counter charge him. Yeah. Um, so the chariots in the middle rally 
Uh, he elects not to charge. There's this couple casualties. I think he lost two mm-hmm. on the unit on the right from the dangerous terrain. The wild horns. Mm-hmm. Wild horns. Thank you. Um, that. Yeah. And that's a big hairy monster fighting me. Mm-hmm. I'm not thrilled. His uh, minotaurs are still back there. Hmm. His minotaurs are coming forward. They don't want to get charged by the spider. Mm-hmm. Okay. And they're worried about the spider and the. Uh, the trolls. trolls, yeah. Um, trolls, I'm not sure if they should be worried about. Spider is a different story. Um, What's he armed with again? They are strength five. He's got dual hand weapons? Yeah. A lot of attacks. Mm-hmm. Strength five is good against the spider. Yeah. Can. Wounding on fives, if you've got a lot of attacks, is well worth yep. it. Yep, especially if you can get a spell off. Yeah, or get <laughs> battle focus or mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah. Um, they already have see... battle focus, don't they? Oh, maybe they do. Yeah. Gargoyles come up and hop in the middle of my unit army mm-hmm. just so they can have a better range to everything. Just because. Just And because he can <laughs> yeah. is more the answer. Uh, Mr. Gortak doesn't, elects not to charge my spider, just walks around. Okay. Uh, Boar Boys, yeah. You can see the Wild Horns have formed up into mm-hmm. the deep ranks yep. and move forward a bit. He's chaffed you up with his... And his dogs have chaffed Dog up both my units. So he's got eight of them, so it's a core unit. Little thing he does not realize, though. Mm-hmm. He did not chaff my general. Uh, of course. <laughs> or your mage. Is he? Ooh. <laughs> he, he, I, don't, he, I don't think he's played me in a while, and he's he just forgotten something. <laughs> uh, so we'll move on to stop turn four. Stop turn four. Um, I decided I do not charge my general out of the unit. Mm-hmm. Um, the Nashers over here charge into the flank of the dogs. Were there more of them before? I don't think so. Oh, I swarmed a swarm of insect to them. Okay. <laughs> and why are these guys back here? You must charge them with somebody. I don't have anybody to charge them with. <laughs> oh, the Nasher herd back here in the there back corner go. must have charged them <laughs> and pushed them back out here. Mm-hmm. Um, the spider, now I'm just getting ridiculously overconfident. And the spider swings around in the front of this and doesn't even bother to look at him. Okay. I figure at this point he's afraid to charge me. So I'm mm-hmm. just moving over and going to squat in front of him. Okay. And you charge your boar boys and into he, the... I do keep him within 12 of the BSP. Into the wild horns and, on the flank. And the boar boys went into the wild horns. Over the fence. Over the fence. Doesn't hurt you anymore. Which so. is kind of interesting because when I declare the charge, he stands and shoots. Mm-hmm. Um, but he needs a base five. Um, but he's being charged, so it's six, and then I get two for the for the wall, which is uh, eight. So he basically can't hit. He can hit. No, eight's no longer can hit. Oh, the nines could no longer hit. No. Oh, oh it's just sevens. Yeah, sevens yeah. now. Sorry, wrong rules. Yeah, wrong wrong game system. <laughs> yeah, wrong game um, system. That's yes. one of the problems with playing with multiple games. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so now he can no longer even hit at all, which is um, interesting. Does he have to pay for the wall? Yeah. Why not? You can throw them. It was within twelve. You throw as soon as the shares to de- de- charge the declared, even if you're out of range. Right. Technically, he can throw, cause a panic check, when I never get within range, uh-huh. again, which is really odd. Mm-hmm. But um, anyway, it's what it is. Okay. Um, so they go in there. Uh, it's that. No, it wasn't that Nasher that charged him. I don't know how these two got out here. He changed his mind. I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe they spent a turn in there and missed it and they flew out the next mm. turn. Why would they have flown there? When he moved him there first and he changed his I mind. Oh, the, um, sorry, the ferals. Oh. The ferals had Ark on them. So you killed the Gortek. We missed a Gortek dying. The Gort, yes, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's rather wow. important. Wow, okay. I didn't have a picture of it. That's really important. Yes. So the ferals killed the Gortag. Okay, and they probably fled from... Uh... And they they did not flee from panic. Oh, okay. The the ferals actually pivoted, you know, sorry. Yeah, they, after they killed the Gortag, they pivoted towards the center, and I declared a charge on them, on the gargoyles, and redirected to something else, and they did not make it. Redirected okay. out here. But the important thing is there's no Gore-Tec. But there is no gore And you've lost detail. a rank of guys? And I lost a back rank of guys. Okay. So he came in, did some wounds, mm-hmm. and I believe I killed him yeah. outright. Um, so he didn't even get the thunder stomp on me. Um, he killed me, Mel. He killed me with a sword. Killed me with a sword. <laughs> yeah. How weird is that? How weird is that? Um, <laughs> so the boar boys go in. 
they did uh, four wounds, uh, took two back, and stick around just okay. to continue the fight. Mm-hmm. I had a charge and four wounds to five, and he had two ranks. Right, he's stepping. Two ranks and uh, two kills. Yeah. Actually, it was, yeah. Anyway. Okay. Steadfast. Whatever yeah, steadfast. You call it. There we go. Thank you. Um, again, you can see I've got the Break the Spirit back up on the Minotaurs. Yep. I'm just doing, I want them not in the fight. Until yeah, that's I'm a good unit to have. Well, I'm surprised your Nashers actually beat those dogs. <laughs> well, really, I did have a flank. What I'm really surprised is there's some dogs still left. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. It was, I only had 11 attacks. <laughs> yeah. I only killed eight of them. <laughs> yeah. That's not, that's not too shabby. <laughs> see, I think you're slacking. Yeah, well. You missed out on a snack. <laughs> uh, actually, not eight. I only killed five of them. Yeah. But anyway. Okay. It's what it is. Yep. Um, so they ran back to there. And that's where it is. The so other doesn't look like you forward. back up for a second. It doesn't look like you blocked his Gore-Tec from hitting in a flank on your I did. trolls. Did you? Yeah. The corner of my base uh, is just, there. This doesn't look like it in the... If uh, you we looked and when you wheel, you're okay. going to clip the corner. Okay. Believe me, I don't want that thing in my flank. Yeah. So there we have that. Um, and then... The Minotaurs charge out anyway and take a wound on the champion and three wounds on the unit. Okay. To pay for but they've got to do something in this game. But they've got to get into it sooner or later, so he just decided to ignore it and charge. And some friends came to help. The Longhorns came in to help him, and, but it's a weird situation. Because these guys are in the way. Because of everything in the way, he could just clip both corners okay. of my yes. unit. <laughs> which funny. is very odd. It is. It just looks really weird. But these things happen, and it works out for him. And it works out really well for him. Um, and Mr. Gortak decides he's going to come up and I, smash me over the head with I a rock. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> he's tired of my yes. getting in his way, so yeah. he charges me and going to smash me in the head with a rock. Mm-hmm. That's what he's got that big thing up there for. Anyway, so <clears throat> there we have that. Um, surprisingly, he wins this fight. Shocking. And kills me. And the Minotaurs elect not to overrun because they've still got that nasty... Uh, Made curse his, on him. Made his roll. Um, and he made his made his um Friends it was a change. normal roll mm-hmm. because I didn't have anybody left to yeah. flee. So mm-hmm. um, up on the top I killed a couple. He didn't kill any of me, and we stand there and gonna continue to fight. Okay. That's where your armor and toughness comes in. Um he charged me in the rear, did a single wound. Mm-hmm. See this little wound marker up here? I do. I did three back to him. Actually wow. Yeah, I did three three back to him yeah because you're a spider edge did one <laughs> yes um but he has a charge a rear which is and it's a, a rank in my rear so three and mm-hmm. one for that is five so he did five and actually to tell you the truth now that i think about it i did four to him because he got a lethal strike okay. off and got one back again mm-hmm. i don't think i've ever seen one of his gore-tex on a turn not get a wound back yeah yeah well um anyway it's irritating so he won the combat by one because mm-hmm. of the charge in the big rear. Mm-hmm. Um, and with the rerollable eight, we decide we don't want to stick around. Okay. So we try to run and he catches me. Okay. So I guess you won't be so cocky with the rear of your spider again. No, I'm <laughs> apparently not. That's apparently not a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So bad, bad idea. All right. So, moving on to turn five. This is what it looks like. Mm-hmm. Um, so, we're going to declare a charge. That's not it. I think it's a 12 is the distance. Okay. Not what I need to roll. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, and for that one, the what I did over here is they charged the corner of the Gortac, the uh, trolls. You don't get to the corner? Yeah, if you look. Let me back up show you again because this is uh okay so okay so this is weird so the the boar boys charged out here Mm -hmm. um charged the uh longhorn unit right the trolls declared the charge on the gortak Mm -hmm. so i'm in his flank so i've got to do what i can a max wheel for me clips the Benators first. Right. So I can't do that. Yeah. 
So I have to wheel to about here, move forward, and clip and his you're able to do corner. It. Okay, then he turns to face. And I hit him before I hit the Minotaurs. Yeah. So he has to turn to face. Okay. What my thinking is, he's got two wounds left. Mm -hmm. My thinking is I go in there, either do two wounds and kill it, or and overrun maybe he breaks Minotaur. and I overrun into the Minotaurs. Okay. Is what I'm hoping for there. Okay, but I thought and I saw then, a character also. And then to support... So oh, sorry. The, they did not charge. They did guys. not charge. The, the guy charged at my general, yes. <laughs> doing his normal hero routine, charges out of the unit of right. boys. Counting on the... I foreshadowed on, this earlier. On the trolls that come through. <laughs> he charges in and smashes into this... Okay. And because of, again, because of the trolls, can only get in on one file right. of minotaurs. Mm -hmm. which if is he has a whole bunch really of trolls good. to help him, he'll be happy. And if the trolls come in and I can fight this with him and the trolls, fantastic. Right. Because the trolls, yeah, still have to clip them all. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Which you don't have so there we go. And okay. these guys on his last turn rallied, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, over here, the feral orcs yep. charged in the dogs to get rid of them. And the Nashers and made it. And Nashers made a long charge out there, despite okay. taking a few wounds on the mm -hmm. stand and shoot. So... I'm fairly happy with this situation. Okay. Because I'm thinking, I may be misguided, but I'm thinking the Boar Boys can hold up to these guys for a little while. They do have Halberds. Um, so there you get that. Picture overall. Um, the Ferals go the way I expected. They uh, smash the dogs and mm -hmm. go wide to stop because I was concerned. I was, con was concerned with this Longhorn unit circling in, you know, wheeling in. Right. And exposing my corner. You in the flank. Mm -hmm. and letting the corner the yep. over. So they, so they reformed wide. So the Nashers won their fight. He ran away and you let him go? I let him go. Because okay. I wanted to be prepared. Yes. Yeah. These chariots coming in on their impact, I'm, the way I'm looking at it, he, if they, they come into the ferals, I'm going to lose the combat because of his multiple impacts. Yeah. But I should end up still being steadfast right. for with ranks and holding. Right. And you're going to potentially need to help in the middle depending and on the fight. And then come, these yeah. guys can come sweep yeah. them up or do mm -hmm. whatever. Okay. And I'm not that concerned with these guys. You know, it's a yeah. hundred, this is like a 200 right. some point unit. Anyway, just keeping things available in the middle. The general fight um, went well. The general, I believe, killed his champion. His champion okay. challenged... His champion challenged, and I killed him. It's like, but the Gore-Tec fight did not go well. The Gore-Tec fight did not go well at all. I think he's actually down to three wounds. Okay. <laughs> he, he actually gained a wound. Okay. Um, of course, he didn't do a lot to me. He did two He only wounds. did two wounds to me. And you did nothing on him? And I have a charge, a rank, and no wounds to him, I think. Mm -hmm. So, but Gore-Tec's stubborn. Yeah. So, doesn't help. But everything's there and standing, so... No one's coming to help anybody mm -hmm. else. Right. So I got that going for me. And in the back of the corner, what happened? These guys, uh, okay. Back corner, he kills one of me. I think I killed one of him. Okay. Um, his ranks cause him to win, and we run. And he didn't catch you. And he does not catch me, and I don't lose one. And you don't lose one building. jumping over the house. Okay. Yeah. So that's good. Uh, there we go. And we're going to go to his turn, I believe. Okay. His turn, yes. <laughs> it's a lot of papers. His turn, the yeah, so he's got a lot oh, of Oh, the stuff harpies going. must have rallied last. They did, they rallied last. Turn. Okay, um, so his turn, the uh, longhorns come into my unit here, yep, and we're already in the combat phase. You can see, yes, um, at least for this one because yep. he's already done damage to see me. Some guys missing, yes, um, and I fight back and do a bunch of wounds to him, mm -hmm. two wounds on his. Um, this actually turned out to be a complete push now that I think about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did two wounds to his, his guy and cleaned off a back rank. And a okay. guy, he killed, I think, four of me. Okay. So, um, with the charges and everything, yep. with everything else, it oh, came up Good move there, is in case you ran away. Yes, he did. And he put mm -hmm. those guys behind me to make me run through I don't see it. a lot of people do that. Not a lot. Not enough do it. Yeah. Too many do it to me. Uh, no, <laughs> not, and being one. One is too many. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so, that, that goes there. Uh, the the ferals actually smashed the chariots. I'm not too surprised about that. Um, hitting on threes, wounding on threes. Yep. They just it's a lot of attacks. Them. Yep. Um, I was concerned, but he does only have twelve wounds. They abused yep. them. Yep. Um, anyway, they pivot. They don't 
reform because if I reform, I can't charge. Yep. But they do pivot on in place and get ready to get in the flank of this unit. Yep. As are your Nashers, much farther away. Nashers. The general has a over here. My general has a field day, smashes a couple of minotaurs. I think he killed. Yeah, he killed two models. And he slid over to get more into contact. And he slid over to get yep. more into combat contact. Yeah. Oh, is he down to four of them? Wow. He's down to four of them now because I'm yeah. not treating him very nicely. Mm -hmm. um, technically, he could have reformed and got the fourth one into contact as you know, put it in the back. Yeah. So he could have got his attacks too, but anyway, did not. And work. he's got uh, looks like he's killed a couple of trolls. And his big Gortax smashing away at my trolls. Um, I, if I'm remembering this correctly. He's healed himself again after two more combats mm. and has no wounds on him anymore. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just, like I said, I don't think I've seen these things never not roll a lethal strike. Mm -hmm. So turn six, turn six comes around. This is what we're looking at. Mm -hmm. um, the ferals come into the flank over okay. here. Uh, my guys rally. My okay. war riders over here on the left. Uh, but the ferals come into the flank is the big news. Um, and that's going in and getting ready for combat. I get, <laughs> I'm really tired of this. Bring the pain is the orc spell. Mm -hmm. So this time I'm really irritated with this guy. So I've gotten Awaken the Beast to bump my strength up. Mm -hmm. He's bumped his toughness up. Mm, okay. So now he's toughness seven. Seven. Yes, and I do Awaken the Beast to bring my strength up to six. Right. To keep him within range. Bring Use Bring the Pain to re-roll my two hits against him. Okay. Uh, I just That guy needs to die because <laughs> he's really irritating me. I did get off the uh, Break the Spirit on these guys, the uh, Longhorns. Okay. Um, which gives them minus one to hit. Yeah, no surprise there. The Ferals on the flank Make do push. it do yep. the overrun into the side of the minotaurs to get mm -hmm. into that fight as well yep and um the boosted cave trolls smash the gore tech okay which works out great for me mm -hmm. um and i was actually slightly concerned with this really well yeah because i was concerned i brought in more wounds for him mm -hmm. the general was doing such a good job by himself this guy going to the flank, I was concerned. He actually had two on the flank, and they just didn't do well. Yeah. Um, but anyway. So, anyway. Last turn. Bomb a turn. Did we... Let's see. What do we got? We wiped out the um, minotaurs. We wiped out the minotaurs. Well, wiped he, them down to one, I think, and ran them down. Okay. And he didn't uh, charge with his guys, of course. We pushed them down. Um, what's this? He didn't charge with his... Uh, oh, this was in, yeah, in mine. We did this. and his. Sorry. Yeah. Let's back up. And his, his um, wild horns here mm -hmm. did make this charge. Okay. I ran mm -hmm. um, because if I run, I keep half points. If right. I don't run, you're I not die. Because you're not 25%. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Right. So I fled and he did not catch me. Okay. So, and that's where the game ended. He had uh, he had the two gargoyles mm -hmm. and the <laughs> unit at full strength. I've got most of my care, all but one of my guy on the spider yeah. left. What, for what was the objective first. again? The objective was the uh, loot. The you can see the wild horns have picked up this one on the final turn. Mm -hmm. I picked up this one on turn four. Or something. Okay. So it's the the victory conditions are going to be a push. All right. For the secondary, but it's in point wise, it's a sixteen four to the orcs. Okay. So. So the orcs <laughs> had a good kind of come back from that twenty zero smash. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, I, I'm. But a lot of those games, I've got another game that I'm trying to find the uh, pictures for that I played the Undying Dynasties. I just, I'm throwing the trolls into combats to see how they do. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I know numbers, but I want to see it in combat, right, get right, a feel right. for them. Yeah. So I've been throwing them all into nasty combats. Mm -hmm. I've been throwing them at the, uh, like I said, I threw them at the Mercenaries, the one game. Against the Undying Dynasties, I put them into a unit of... Uh, of this and the cataphracts or whatever the snake right, right. guys are yeah which they were doing well against they're holding their own but then two bone giant two colossuses throw showed up <laughs> and hit me in the flank and that didn't go well that doesn't sound like fun it was not mm -hmm. it didn't go well for them they weren't happy so anyway i've been playing with them see how they do 
taking chances with them. So yeah, and I'm liking so far. I'm liking. Yep. Anyway, so that's going to do it. Okay. Thanks for listening. Until next time.